G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, and welcome to Beanie Draws. In this video, I am going to tackle the much-anticipated drawing that I've been talking about, Ankylosaurus vs Indominus Rex from Jurassic World, but I'm going to do it my own kind of way. I'm probably going to do it a lot more dynamic than um, it appears in the movie. Like, how it appears in the movie is pretty awesome, but it's very blurred, because they're, you know, continuously moving, so I'm going to do it my own way. And I'm gonna, not, maybe not necessarily teach you guys how to draw it exactly, but, you know, teach you how I would go about tackling this fight. So, it's gonna be largely about composition right now. Um, what am I gonna do for the composition? It's definitely gonna be an Indominus Rex going against an Ankylosaurus. So, what I think what we'll do is we'll just do a bit of a, a barrel. This is going to be the Ankylosaurus. Um, this will be the head for the Ankylosaurus. It's going to be kind of twisting its head around as it's kind of getting its um, its tail ready to belt the Indominus Rex. So again, it's, it's a little bit different to how it looks in the um, in the movie, but. I'm trying to I'm trying to get like more of a sort of a um, dynamic sort of uh, thing going on. So, um, just gonna put some little legs. So it's gonna I'm just roughing in the um, positioning of what I where I want you know bits and pieces of leg and pose to be. So a lot of this is also probably gonna change over the period of time. So I kind of want to. I kind of wanted to have like a bit of an outstretched leg thing going on, so um, it's kind of going to have its head looking this way, so that's probably going to be an eyeball there, or maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's kind of hiding its head away, who knows. Just going to raise one of the legs for now. Um, just roughing in the positioning for the legs. I think if I rough, rough in the um, these bits, because this is, like I was saying, this is this is largely imagined, but I'm using the actual scene of the movie as my point of reference. But um, I'm just kind of repositioning things, so I'm just very roughly putting in my stick figures. I've got shapes for like, you know, the legs and the knees and the elbows and that. Um, I think, you, I, think I want it to have its, its... It's trying to um, counter the weight of the the club on its tail. So I think that will be the club around there. Connecting to the tail, which its arse will be... <laughs> sorry, um, its back end, I should say, will be poking up. And, okay, that'll kind of be like the general shape of the Ankylosaurus, very rough. But, you know, it's all about the composition to start off with. And then, I'm going to rough in where the Indominus Rex is going to be. So, I'll draw the body. Um, it's going to have its head up around here. Um... The positioning of the Indominus Rex I'm using right now is based off the the scene where it's it hasn't quite knocked over the um the Ankylosaurus. It's getting ready to. So it's like it's one of those frame by frame parts that you have to you know just kind of pause the, pause it a bit and just make up the rest. Um, and I really like its arm positioning in this particular pose, so I'm going to try and just, like I said, I'm roughing it in right now. This is me just, you know, putting in composition. I will explain the actual how to draw section of this later. But I'm really just roughing in how I want it all to look. And the pose of the body first. So this... All this is like really rough and won't make much sense to anybody. But once I've got the kind of
kind of the basics of it all in, then I can work from there. And actually, I'm going to move the head of the Ankylosaurus. I'm going to move. Actually, I'm going to move the whole Ankylosaurus over. So I probably should have started with the Indominus Rex. But I like its hand, and it's sort of graspy, getting ready to attack Pose. And it's got its foot getting ready for a lunge. So that's going to be the knee. Roughing in the feet. And this Indominus Rex is basically pretty much facing front on, really, so, um, just roughing in its legs, then I'll focus on all the rest of that later. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do the tail yet. Actually, I probably should bring its head down, because I try, want to try and get this whole thing to fit into a wide, wide screen kind of format. Considering how that's how I'm, um, considering that's how I'm, um, yeah, getting the, uh, trying to fit it all in. It's big mouth, roaring right open. So right now, this is not, this part isn't tutorial, this part is just you watching how I very roughly get my compositions ready. So that's a tail in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably hard to see the arms and all that. So that's the um, the bo positioning of the body ready for the Indominus Rex. Then I'm going to shove in the, the back of the Ankylosaurus. Its head's going to kind of go around here because I want the hand and the feet to be visible. So this is me just doing my stick figures. Holy crap, 10 minutes already for stick figure. This is going to be a long video, I apologize. Um, trying to position it so it's got this body weight already. So it's going to be on that leg. With this leg. It all looks like mush and mess right now, but I can kind of see how it's forming in my head, and then I will try my best to get it to look how I see it in my head in the final product. That leg will have to be more like that. Um, or maybe I won't have the tail going from there, maybe I'll have the tail kind of up there getting ready to swing. You could almost think of a Ankylosaurus as almost a bit of a scorpion. <laughs> a scorpion without the insect legs and without the claws, but it's kind of got, you know, it's got, that would be the stinger, and then it's got it's like, you know, vertebrae things, I don't know. Um, and it's going to have its mouth open a little bit. Alright, so that's pr very roughly the composition of how I want it to look. Now, let's try and get this to look like something. I want to do the Ankylosaurus, but I might do, it, might do the Ankylosaurus last. So, I'm going to work on the Indominus Rex. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the shoulders of the Indominus Rex. Now that I've got the the general gist of um, the composition done. So basically you've seen all this mess, now I'm going to refine that mess. I'm going to find like, kind of like, you know, when you think of a sculpture, you have a big block, then you carve in the basic form, and then you refine that basic form into a more refined form. Which is, and also kind of like painting, I guess, you build it up. So it's kind of like that. So 
So it's less about um, teaching you how to draw so much and more just kind of showing you how to refine. So this would be the shoulder. Um, and it, I'm still finding it a little bit difficult to, you know, draw Indominus, like teaching how to draw Indominus Rex. So, um, just bear with me. So this will be the elbow. And then the forearm. Problem with it being a front-facing position is, yeah, it's, um, a lot of, a lot to do with fore shortening, I think is the term. Um, this is the thigh piece. The thigh. I always call thighs a thigh piece. That line here is going to be the stomach. This is the thigh. Going to draw a thigh muscle. When when you're doing a pose like this, like an actual scene, it's less about teaching them how to draw the actual dinosaurs necessarily, and more kind of teaching you guys how to draw like you know. Teaching you the concept of composition. Now that you've got the composition out of the way, I'm going to try and build up the character, but the character is quite, like, it's not like, you know, side-on view like I've done the other Indominus Rex um, drawing that I did in the past. This is more a three dimension. you have to really think three-dimensionally, which can be difficult sometimes. So that's a bit of a line for the tail. Um... That's going to be the wrist and the forearm. I'm trying to draw this slow, not too fast, but not too slow, because I like drawing fast. That's how I draw, so um, I'm going to try and teach you as much as I can. Not necessarily being a tutorial, but more like, you know, um, trying to teach you just bits and pieces. I just finished drawing a T-Rex, which does I, I've tried I've tried to do that in a in, in a proper f tutorial format, but um what we've got here is we've got the hand that's the um you can kind of think of it as like you know human hand slightly. We've got the thumb, and we're going to draw the claw for the thumb. Um, I'm going to draw the bottom of the stomach and the chest. Um. The, it's very difficult to explain foreshortening. I might have to do a, a video on explaining foreshortening at some point to explain the idea of it, but I thought you guys would more just want to watch me drawing um, Indominus Rex and Ankylosaurus fighting. I will do a how to draw Ankylosaurus, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'll, maybe with Ankylosaurus, because it's kind of side on. I can do that part as more of a tutorial. And this part right here is more of like, you know, just, I really wanted to draw this scene, so that's what I'm doing. There's the claw. Um, around, what, what I can do for the hand, I guess, is draw little circles for the, for the wrists. And then the fingers kind of curve out, I've noticed. So we've got some curves going on. And we'll put in some, like, um... I think it's like a bit of a curve around here. It seems, in this particular pose anyway, it's hands, you kind of have to learn how to draw action hero hands like Marvel and that. It seems to be that kind of positioning, so it can be a bit hard to explain. Um, this is the fingers, I'm doing the knuckles. I know this isn't really explaining anything, but I'm trying to explain my process anyway of what I'm doing. I haven't, like, like I said, I haven't drawn Indominus Rex very much. So this is another one that I'm trying to do. This is the tip of its finger. And another tip of the finger. And it's huge, huge, huge claws. I really like its claws, to be honest. Especially that part where um, where they're in the gyroscope, and you can just see the claw, like the kids are looking at the Ankylosaurus, and then you just see the claws coming past the screen, and that's just like, like it's basically like this, like, roar, and then you see the whole 
Indominus Rex. That's just like freaking awesome. I actually think the Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus was my favorite scene in the whole movie. I mean, don't get me wrong, Indominus Rex versus T Rex and the Raptors, that was amazing as well. There were so many amazing scenes, but I wasn't actually expecting this in the movie, so it was just awesome seeing two dinosaurs going at it that aren't, you know, like, you know, T Rex versus another carnivore. Right now, I'm mainly focusing on the hands. Um, that one was a little bit rough. I didn't teach you much in this one, but in this one, I can maybe teach you something like. Um, I guess around here, I'm, I'm going to do little circles for the, um, for where the knuckles and that would probably go, because it has long fingers. I might do, actually, a, a, a video on, um, specifically focusing on the Indominus Rex's fingers. And the, yeah, and the hands and fingers, because it has very interesting looking hands. Um, that's the webbing between the fingers. Um, and then it'll do some... It'll be like a finger here, so you imagine these are like little ball joints for the fingers, and then some claws. There we go, there's a claw. I just can't get over how epic that scene was. Like I'm looking at it here in the um in the preview while I'm drawing it and I'm just like, oh it's awesome. So there is a claw. Draw another claw like that, a curved line. And the very, very long claws in the middle. It's a very angry dinosaur. So I'll draw those claws. Draw it like so. I think that kind of gets the gist of it. So maybe you can I'll, I'll leave maybe I'll leave sort of like, you know, circles on how to like, you know, the ball joints and that. But you can kind of see more ho hopefully you can see how the hands came out of the that mess hopefully you can see that now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring out the like there's a knee here I think I'm going to try and bring out the um the leg and see if you can kind of see the leg forming from the body uh, from the um from the mess that I've got here so like so it's a front on, so it's more like, kind of think of it as like almost like a human leg, really, in a way. I mean, th this part with the feet would be a little bit different, but um, it, this po this pose is very, very, very difficult to explain for a tutorial, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just drawing it, and you guys can watch. Um, and I'll... There you go, repositioning the paper a bit. What I will do here is I'll draw the claw. How I, how I always do it, I'll draw the claws first. Except for here, I didn't do the claws first, but here I'll do the claws. Which will also kind of put where the, um, the, the spreading of the load on its feet. Or where the Feet hold the load of the body, I guess you call it. I'm trying to draw in the, the toes. Um, I might actually have to watch the scene slightly again just to kind of get a better idea. Such an awesome scene. Oh yeah, so good. Alright, 
now what I'm doing here is I'm just studying the feet and how the Indominus Rex's feet kind of look like it's moving. Um, okay. See how its legs look. Okay, so it's kind of like that. So it looks like it's more got its foot out there. And it is bending its toes like that. So it's more like this. Um, actually, to be honest, hopefully I'm, because I'm wanting the ankylosaurus to be in front, so maybe I've, maybe I've made the foot too, too close forward. I'll erase that and start that again, even though uh, I've put too much pressure on my pencil. I'm actually going to make the legs a little bit shorter as well. So what I'll do is I'll have the leg kind of going more out to there. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to imagine the foot like it's stretching and balancing on its feet. So toe, toe, toe. And then it kind of all goes up until the ankle. It's very difficult doing um, dinosaur feet from from front on. Dinosaur feet do have their challenges for the most part anyway, so I'm trying my best here. It's also got the dew claw around there. And I'm wondering if I'm going to do this in um, ink or if I'm going to do it in fine liner. Not fully sure. Draw the claws for the toes. some padding underneath the feet. If I spend too much time on this feet, I'm going to lose track on the whole image, and then this video will be pointless. So I'm just going to put in some scales for the feet and just leave it at that. I need to practice feet a lot more, obviously. Especially from these kind of angles. It is quite a challenge. So you you might not get it right the first go. There's probably some people could probably draw the feet better, but for now, that's as good as I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um gonna have its belly more like that. So that's gonna be like the belly. Um I should probably have some some um feathered the feather quill things under its arms that it has but you can't really see it in the fight. Um gonna have its knee because it's going for like you know the pounce pose. And the head, the leg would be hidden behind the leg's gonna be hidden behind the head and the hand, so I'm just trying to figure out where it would be positioned behind things. Best way to figure out how, you know, where it'd be behind things is to more or less draw it. So there's a claw for the foot. Like so. Another foot claw. I really kind of uh, <laughs> may have taken on more than I 
was prepared for with this one but I'm trying my best this is not going to be one of those tutorial videos I don't think this is more just I wanted to draw it so this will be a beanie draws video as opposed to a beanie draws tutorial but I'm sure people will want to hear the explanation of the drawing, so that's more or less why I'm recording and annotating. So you can kind of see how I go about it. So there's a shoulder, there's um, around here, there's, you can see the, um, the dermal spikes, um, is that what you call them? Dermal spikes. Um, I know the, I know the osteoderms or something. So I'm just going to draw those osteoderms, I think that's what they're called. <laughs> draw the osteoderm spike things along its back. And some more up there. Because this is more like, you know, an illustration, um, rather than trying to be exact. Um, what I might do is I might also try and get some of the shading shapes in there. So if I decide to do this as a, a um, fine line illustration, I kind of get the idea of where I want my um, shading to go. And if this video takes a while, a long time to draw, this will again be another multi-parter. I'm doing a lot of them now. Well, I figure you guys prefer, maybe maybe prefer watching multi-part, actually, when I first started this channel, I think you guys were, like, who are, the first few people were probably more interested in watching the time-lapse videos than the actual full-length tutorials, and now, it seems that you guys are more interested in the full-length tutorials and the full-length process videos than the actual time-lapse videos, because now the more of my time-lapse videos that I've got, like, um, the T-Rex smashing the Spinosaurus, and, um, just those drawings, I'm getting a lot of people going, oh, can you, um, do a tutorial on how to do this? So it seems like you guys are more interested in the, the long videos than the short videos now, so, yeah. That's why I'm doing this in long format, because you probably will want to watch it in fo long format. Um, this is a, sh I'm, as you can see, I'm blocking in the shading, trying to imagine where the light is on the dinosaur. So the light is kind of coming from this direction. Thus, the shading is in this direction underneath it. I'm actually, f I'm also using the screenshot from the movie, so I'm getting a better idea of what parts will be in the shadow and which parts will be in the, the, um, the light. So the hands are in the shadows, that's why I'm colouring them in dark for the most part. The complete under t underbody will be black. Um, most of that area will be black. And now, um, I'm just going to make sure I've got the head back in the position that I preferred. No, too far. Alright. That's the position that I want for the head. I don't know how much I can teach you about the head section, but let's see how we go. What I'll actually do is just put a bit of shading in the leg, and put a bit of shading in the feet. I'm just really roughing in the shading, as you can see. And the hands will be in most in the... Um, in the shade as well. Okay, now for the head. It has a really hugely um, gaping jaw. So um, what I'll try and do is draw it in like... It's got a big, big, big open mouth, which will be covering its knee. Um, I'm trying to imagine um, how to do this in a tutorial way. Um, okay, that's the the kind of the um oh what do you call them the stretchy part of its 
mouth. So these are the stretchy parts. I'm not really giving you any idea on how to draw them, just you kind of watch how I do it and it might give you a bit an idea on how to do it. Then it has a, it's very wide, it's kind of very wide at the jaw and then kind of goes in and then curves around like that. Kind of like the same the other way around. And it seems from here, this is like, you know, the top, uh, the top part of the mouse. It has a bit of a U'd, a U shape. So kind of like that. In all in here, it'll be darkness, so, you know, darkness. Um, then there's a tongue. So the big tongue. I suppose with a tongue you could draw it like a um a love heart shape. Kinda of how like I just did there. And right now my head's just like going really quickly between the source image and the page. Maybe I need to slow it down a bit. Cause I'm sure this part like this right now I'm just trying to figure it out as I go along. Which is not the best for tutorial and uh look <laughs> Can you see all that smudging on my finger? <laughs> that's from all that section. Yeah. Oh well, that's right. I can worry about that later. I'm an artist. Artists get dirty. So I'm just. Um, we've got. You can kind of tell that's the inside of the mouth. Hopefully. Not really being able to teach how to do because it it's very challenging if, when it's you know. A th a three-dimensional dynamic pose but we've got the mouse around here we'd add like sort of jawed jaw arm form so you can see here there's a bit of jaw in here you'd show a little bit of the jaw from the other side but not as much and okay how are we going to do this part uh, this is going to be a challenge. Um, I don't. I have no idea. I'm going to explain this part, so just you're going to have to watch. I'm sorry. I'll try my best to explain it. This is the. T this is like the snout. I'm trying to imagine it like it's a bit of a box shape. Um, so that's like a bit of a the box. A bit of a box. It's a very complicated shape. Very complicated. So you just kind of have to watch. I'm sorry. If this was side on, no problem. But yeah, this is a three dimensional view, which is very challenging. So this video is no way intended as being a beginner's um, tutorial. This is more like, you know, if you're an intermediate to advanced drawer, you can just kind of watch me go about it and you can kind of get ideas on how to do your own sort of pose. So you can see that this is like the front of the, the, the snout, the nose, there's a bit of a, a bit of a um, nose part, nose tip there. And because the Indominus Rex is facing us, as opposed to pointing out that way, you're only going to see a very, sl a slither of it, of it. So it feels like, you know, Okay, if it, was, if it was facing this, you know, out that way, you'd see, like, you know, the whole eyes, nose, and and all that. And if it was just facing forward, it would be like, you know, it, it's, it has a, a very narrow head from the looks of it, so you'd only see, like, you know, the eye, the eye, the nose, and the horns. But it'd be a, a very narrow kind of squared shape as opposed to, you know, the longer rectangle gila one. But because it's like this, it's kind of in between these two. So you kind of, this part, this part would be like narrower. And you'd see a little bit more of the front part. So you'd see like the two nostrils kind of like that 
I don't know if that can explain it a bit better. But see how, like, you know, you got the the nose square, nose square, nose square. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's my best kind of way of explaining it. So that's the best I can do for now. I'm sorry. <laughs> now back to what I was doing. Um, got the the um the nose, the um the horn on the top of its eyebrow which kind of morphs right into the nose ridge and I think we can just see a little slither of the other horn there and it seems to be a bit of a indentation here for the snout area which is going to be nearly next to impossible for me to explain if I'm just drawing that in and we've got the um the, the indentation for the eye I don't even know how to explain this part either. You just kind of have to watch and see how I do it. And in that darkness is an eye. Let me just shade that in. So just kind of think of maybe think of it as like kidney shapes, I guess, for this particular angle. I mean, that's not how you would draw it normally. Normally you draw like you know, kind of like that. But for this particular pose, in this very extreme angle I mean you know this is like one of the most extreme and that's why I'm actually drawing this because it's such an extreme pose and so intense but to try and explain it in a you know teaching you how to draw manner I'm just like there's no way I can really explain it so you just kind of have to watch I'm sorry drawing in the quills you can just see from the back of the neck and now, the teeth, teeth part are pretty easy to explain. Just draw the big chompy teeth. So just draw them like so. Think of them as upside down raindrops. I'm pretty sure we all know how to draw dinosaur teeth. I'd like to hope so anyway. And around here, they'd be a lot, um, a lot shorter ones. Around here, I'll, I'll do a quick little explanation um, about the teeth. Like up here, you can see them normally because you know they're like that. That's the gum. That's the tooth. But because of that, they're kind of more pointing towards you. So, think of it like, you know, there's the, that would be the base of the tooth, and then, because it's kind of pointing nearly towards us, we'd have the, like, point there, or even there, wherever you want to put the point, and then you just kind of draw those points out, and see how it kind of looks like a teardrop? So, you, you kind of do the same thing with these, you know, little teardrop, um, Spikes. So I'm now just going to draw the rest of those teeth in. Again, this is a very intense um, drawing and a very intense pose. Which is why I found the scene so amazing in the movie, because, oh, and what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing lines for where the bottom, ooh, too much pressure on the pencil where the scales will go for under the chest and then I'll probably refine all this in pen later on that might be that'll have to be another video um, so yeah hopefully this is kind of making sense so like there'd be a big circle there for your chest and you got your circle there for your shoulder you got a bit of an oval here for your arm, another oval here for your arm, another oval here. Maybe what I can do is, maybe I'll draw over the top of this with tracing paper as, and then I can tr kind of try and explain in another video how to draw this picture 
tracing over the top of it using basic forms. We'll see how that goes. If I even think, to, if I even remember to do that, I probably won't remember. But it's an idea if I ever think about it. And because it's got such a huge gaping mouth. Roar. It's gonna feel that in darkness. Well. Because I've got two dinosaurs going on, I haven't even started with the, the um the Ankylosaurus yet. So this may be a two a, a two parter video. Part one for the Indominus Rex, part two for the Ankylosaurus. That may be the best way to go about this video, considering we're at 43 minutes now. So, I will I will be refining this once the f image is more near it, ready to be um drawn, uh, to be inked or whatever. Whatever I decide to do with this, but for now, I think that's pretty good for the positioning for the Indominus Rex, anyway. I'm just putting some wrinkles here and there for the, for the legs. I'll, I'll be going into this with far more detail later. But for now, I'm going to keep that, I'm going to have that video like here for now. So that is how I go about drawing an Indominus Rex in a very strange angled position. So um, I apologize if you've learned nothing from this video, but at the very least, hopefully you got some entertainment from watching me draw. And you've, you've learned at least, you know, you've learned about, basically use this video as an idea of how to do composition and posture. Yeah, positioning, like, you know, spreading of the legs, the hanging of the hands, shoulders, um, a little bit of, you know, the head is narrow when it's pointing towards you, and we've also got, you know, a bit of, um, the, we've got a bit of the, um, ah, the ankylosaurus. So the next video will be me drawing the Ankylosaurus. So that is the end of part one of Ankylosaurus versus Indominus Rex. If you liked this part of the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe um, for part two or just, you know, for future drawings. If you've liked what you've watched so far, let me know. Um, and yeah, let's get ready for part two. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheerio.